Good day everyone, let us start our discussion with the story of the day. May, after missing her friends for several days, decided to visit them after her vacation abroad. Her friend Louis lives five blocks west of their home, while Danica lives four blocks west of Louis' home. How far is May from her home if they are now at Danica's place? Now let us answer this problem using a number line. Our keyword here is from her home. So our reference point is May's home, which is zero on the number line. It says that Louis is five units to the left, since we're talking about west. Louis is five units to the left, and Danica's home is four units to the left of Louis. So this is Danica. If May went to Louis' house, which is five units west, May is now at negative 5 on the number line and from Louis home to Danica it is 4 blocks west therefore they are now negative 9 on the number line therefore May is 9 units west of her home let's have another one Anna sits on the second chair south of Joyce Ch Cherry sits on the four chairs south of Anna how far is Cherry from Joyce? So when we're talking about south, it is below zero. Let us answer using the number line. Our keyword here is from Joyce. So our reference point is Joyce seat and that is zero on the number line. Another given is that Anna seat is two units south of Joyce. So that is negative two on the number line. Then it is also in the given that Cherry's seat is 4 units south of Anna. So if Anna is at negative 2, we count 4 units down. It is located at negative 6. That means the distance from Joy's seat to Anna's seat is 6 units south or negative 6 on the number line from 0. Now, how do you add integers? using a number line. So when adding integers using a number line, first locate the first addend on the number line. Jump on the left if we add negative integer and jump to the right if we add positive integer. Let's have an example. We have negative 4 plus 3 is equal to n. First, we will locate the first addend, which is this is the first addend. We have negative 4. Then we add 3, which is positive. Since it is positive, we will move to the right 3 times. So we have 1, 2, 3. End up at negative 1. Therefore, negative 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. Next, we have negative 3 plus 5 is equal to n. Locate first the number on the first addend on the number line. So we have here negative 3 and add 5 which is positive. Therefore, if we add positive, we move to the right which is also 5 times. So we have from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our answer. Therefore, negative 3 plus 5 is equal to positive 2. Next, we have 5 plus negative 10 is equal to x. So locate first the first added, which is 5, on the number line and add negative 10. So we need to move 10 times to the left since we are adding a negative number. If we add positive number, you go to the right. If you add negative number, you go to the left from the number line or from your first add. So we have your 5, so we move 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Therefore, we end at negative 5. Our answer is negative 5. Next, negative, two, negative 6 plus negative 2. We locate negative 6, then we add negative 2. Since it is negative, we move to the left 2 times. So we have 1, 2, and we end up at negative 8. Therefore, our answer is negative 8. Next, negative 2 plus negative 8 is equal to n. So we locate first the first add n, which is negative 2. Then you move 8 moves to the left since we are adding negative numbers. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we end up at negative 10. 
Therefore, our answer negative 2 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 10. Let's have another problem. A cyclist cycled 8 kilometers north of Manila. If he, he traveled back 5 kilometers, how far is he from Manila? If we analyze the problem, our reference point is from Manila. And going north, it is positive 8, right? Then going back, which is negative 5, since he traveled back 5 kilometers. And how far is he from Manila? Let's answer this using color chips. When you say positive, that means we're referring to yellow chip or yellow circles. And when you say negative, that means it's negative or the red chips. A pair of positive and negative integer is called zero pair. A positive and a negative integer cancel out each other. What does it mean? So if you add a positive chip or a positive integer to a negative integer, it forms a zero pair and that is equal to zero. Therefore, there is no value anymore. Just like when you add positive 4 or 4 positive chips and add to 4 red chips or negative chips, it forms 4 zero pairs and they are all equal to 0. So let's going back to our problem. It says that he cycled 8 kilometers north. That means it is positive 8 and we represent it with 8 yellow chips or yellow circles. On the other hand, we have five red chips since he go back five kilometers south. And south is, that is negative, from zero. Now, in adding integers using colored chips, we look at the zero pairs first. And as you can see here, there are five zero pairs. If it is zero pairs, that means it's zero. Therefore, we are going to cancel out that each pair will cancel out each other since they are all equal to zero. Therefore, the remaining chips is for three yellow chips. A cyclist cycled eight kilometers north of Manila. If he traveled five kilometers back, how far is he from Manila? Three kilometers away from Manila. So if we add eight plus negative five, that is equal to three. And this is how we do it using a color chips. Let's have more examples so that you will be able to visualize and understand adding integers using colored chips. We have 4 plus 5 is equal to n. So we represent 4 as 4 yellow chips plus 5 yellow chips because they are all positive. We add all the chips since there is no red chips and we cannot form any zero pairs. So our answer is n is equal to 9. It's like adding whole number, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Next, negative 3 plus negative 6. So we represent 3 negative, that means 3 red chips, plus there are also 6 red chips since they are negative. If we add that together, n is equal to negative 9. So we cannot have 0 pairs here since they are all negative. So we just have to add all of it. Next, we have negative 3 plus negative 4. We have three red chips plus four red chips. If we add that together, you will get negative seven. Next, we have five plus three, so five chips plus three yellow chips. So they are both, they are all yellow chips. Then we just have to add, answer is eight. To have more example, we have negative five plus four is equal to, neg is equal to n. So five red chips, since it's negative, added to four yellow chips since it's positive so this is our representation of the color chips and we can form four zero pairs here and that four zero pairs are equal to zero therefore the remaining chip is red one and that is negative therefore our answer is negative one so negative five plus four is equal to n or is equal to negative one next four plus negative three is equal to n so four yellow chips added to three red chips. So this is our representation of the colored chips, four positive and three red or negative. Then we can form three zero pairs and we can cancel that out. Our answer is one. So four plus negative three is equal to one. Next, 
7 plus negative 3 is equal to n. So 7 yellow chips added to 3 red chips. So we cancel out 0 pairs here. So we have cancelled this out 3 and also 3 0 pairs. The remaining chips yellow and we have 4. So n is equal to 4. Last example, 5 plus negative 7. So we have 5 yellow chips added to 7 red chips and we cancel out all 5 pairs or 0 pairs. So we have 4, 5. So the remaining <coughs> chip is red and there are 2 red. That means the answer is n is equal to negative 2.